In today's video, I'm going to be doing gel enhancements on the client. So something a little bit different, very exciting. The client has short nails. She wants to add a little bit of length as she is doing something this weekend and just wants to have a little bit longer than what she has right now. She likes square, so we're going to add a little bit of length, make it nice and square. She tries to grow them out, but they do kind of chip off and break off when they do grow out. So adding the gel enhancements will help grow out the nails and make them longer. Just gonna sanitize your hands. So we are still doing a manicure. It is going to be a dry manicure. And what that means is we don't incorporate water at all or anything to soften up the nail plate because we want the gel enhancement to adhere to that dry natural nail so that it doesn't lift or peel. So I'm just shaping it just a little bit. I'm just gonna lightly push back the And what's really great about this angle tool is that I can really push back without having any pain for the client, even though that the manicure is dry and the cuticle is pretty hard. This is a great tool to just push back and it's so easy and there's no discomfort. So she's very comfortable. There's no pain when pushing back. And just going in, lifting up that cuticle area, and buffing around. You can see my face, yeah.
Bought peppermint Starbucks because I was in the mood because it was snow. Now we are going to dehydrate the nail, making sure that the gel sticks well. Sorry if that stings. <laughs> Uh, gel enhancements. Similar to acrylic. So now the nails are nice and prepped. I'm gonna go in and sculpt and place the forms on because we are sculpting the nails today. No, I did it before last time, I think, for you. Yeah, we have these and then we have the actual appray. Does that hurt? No, it's no. okay. This is so it's easier for you to oh. uh, remove. Mm. So instead of drilling, mm. we're just gonna create it this way. So I'm gonna be going in with the OPI Bond Aid. It's a pH balancing agent that's just going to dehydrate the nail plate with a disposable brush I'm using. And I just poured it into my dampen dish so I never use anything to roughen up the nail plate just because you don't need to do that and that causes more damage to the nails. So as long as your prep work is really good and you have, and they're nice and dehydrated, the product will stick to the nails. But every nail tech is different, so they have their own methods. So the client, actually purchased these items, which is why I'm going to use them from the bottle because she has purchased it for herself to use. I'm gonna go in with our new bond, which is my favorite bonder. This is the next step that I am applying so that the gel polish really adheres to that natural nail. in with the builder gel so this is a soft gel this has calcium in it so it's not going to damage the nails as well it's going to increase the calcium into the nails and make them grow out longer and what's really nice about this gel is that it's soft so soft gel and hard gel the difference is hard gel you have to file it off you can't soak it off with acetone the soft gel is you are able to soak it with acetone and then it just comes off so i'm just applying a thin layer on the natural nail first so that it adheres to that nail before we apply the extensions. Once again, all nail techs have their different method of doing it and I find that this way works for me the best. And we just put it in the light for 60 seconds. There are also different types of gel. You can see gel in tubs, you see gel in bottles. I have been experimenting with a couple of different types of gel and by far this is my favorite because it's already built in, has the brush and I can sculpt it better. So now that I applied that thin layer on the natural nail, I'm gonna go ahead and sculpt. And she would like it in between one and two. So we're gonna 
go onto the form and just lightly start sculpting. And we're gonna blend it a little bit past the free edge, that way it adheres. And during this part, I like to do two nails at a time because we don't want that gel to move or flood the nail. So now that I extended, I'm going to remove the forms and then start building that apex, which is the center of the nail where we don't want it to break. So that's why we're creating that apex with the gel afterwards. But now that I have my foundation, I can remove and then apply the apex afterwards. It's okay.
Cynthia, what you watching? What you watching? Oh. <laughs> No demos at all for her? No. Oh. 